I'm Kerry Rasmussen, and this is Tips from the Team. I'm going to be looking at my solar panel inspection form. I have a few fields here with Arcade, so you'll notice who is the inspector. We have some Arcade running to give us the inspector's name, the inspection date, and the priority for follow-up. We're going to look at the inspection date field. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Arcade. What's going on here is if I'm inserting, so if I'm creating a new record, then I'm going to return today's date. Else, which means otherwise, I am going to return the inspection date that was created when this record was created. You'll notice here that because I have a calculated expression, it is now read only. But sometimes I need to go in and change that date. How, how am I going to do that? I need this other field right here, this override date field, which if I take a look at it, it's just a string field. I have two values in it for switch. So I've made it into a switch input type. I have no and yes with a default value of no. I'm going to go back to my inspection date and I'm going to use my logic fields. So I'm going to use the editable logic and I'm going to add a new expression. So I'm going to use this modified date field, which is that override date field we just saw. And then when that is equal to yes, I'm going to be able to edit this field. And once I hit save, we're done. We're good to go. Now let's see what that looks like on the mobile app. I'm going to select one of my solar panels and I'm going to add a new inspection. You'll see, I also had a arcade expression for inspector. So that's filled out. It's filled out my name. It's filled out the date and I have that override date in there. So now if I go ahead and flip that switch to on, now I can come in here and select another date and submit. Watch for more tips from the Field Apps team.